Behind this razor-wired fence in Colorado, a highly classified Space Force asset. Under heavy armed guard, this 18-wheeler packed with high-value satellite comms is one of several mobile command centers poised to roll out in the event of a doomsday attack that would target U.S. military satellite control. If you need to, how fast can you move these trucks out? The specific timelines are classified, but what I can say is a matter of hours. Thank you. Sign up. At the main Space Force Satellite Ops Center, our cameras were the first ever led inside. Line down. It's here that they keep watch over America's military satellites and the world's GPS network, operating in an increasingly hostile environment. It is truly a warfighting domain. Um, our adversaries are fielding specific weapon systems in the domain, um, so we need to view it as such. The Pentagon says Russia and China are the chief adversaries. In November, a Russian satellite targeted and blew up another Russian satellite, creating a massive orbiting debris field. China conducted a similar test in 2007. U.S. commanders believe China has deployed a satellite with a robotic arm to reach out and grab other satellites. And Russia has nesting satellites loaded with offensive weapons. And liftoff. The head of Space Force says U.S. commercial and military satellites are routinely harassed. Whether it's um, uh, jamming or, or, or harmful interference in the RF spectrum, laser dazzling, cyber attacks, you know, cyber probing and cyber attacks. Those attacks monitored 24-7 in this classified command center. More than 70% of military satellite communications come through here. Everything from nuclear command and control orders to presidential communications, down to a Coast Guard cutter, a submarine, even tactical units on the ground. And if they don't have the communications when they need it, things can go seriously wrong. As the Navy has sailors, the new Space Force has guardians, many with engineering degrees and now training for the new battlefield. The concern, the Pentagon says China is now outpacing the U.S. in launches and modernizing its own space capabilities, building a remote robotic post on the far side of the moon, invisible to U.S. satellites. If we don't start accelerating our development and delivery capabilities, they will exceed it. Commanders here worry Beijing and Moscow could one day deploy offensive military weapons in the space between the moon and Earth, an area called cislunar. We don't want there to be a war in space. We want all of humanity to continue to use all the benefits of space for all of our good. But, but if others choose to uh, start a war there, we'll be ready. And you believe the threat is growing exponentially and by the day? Absolutely. And that, that goes without question. Uh, we've seen the public testing of China and Russia. Tom, it's fascinating and a little bit disturbing. How much worry is there about the militarization of space, especially given Space Force's budget will soon rival NASA's? Uh, the generals that we talk to are worried. They say, listen, this is the, the reality that we're living in every single day with aggressive action by Russia and China. And they believe China could overtake the U.S. in space capabilities in less than eight years. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.